What is Belial? Deuteronomy chapter 15 and verse 9. Watch out for yourself for fear a word of Belial, a word of worthlessness, should come to be in your heart, saying the seventh year, the year of release, has come close, and your eyes should become ungenerous toward your poor brother, and you should give him nothing, and he has to call out to Yahweh against you, and it has become a sin on your part. So the word Belial just means worthlessness. There was a common understanding among the, among the Jews that Belial referred not to an external supernatural evil being, but to evil thoughts within the heart of men. To have a heart of Belial, a mean thought in one's heart, was described as having Belial in your heart. Beware that there be not Belial in thy heart. So Belial is the quality or state of being useless, good for nothing. The Hebrew term is applied to ideas, words and counsel. Deuteronomy chapter 15 and verse 9, Psalm 101 verse 3. To evil actions, Psalm 41 and verse 8, and most frequently to describe good for nothing men of the lowest sort, Deuteronomy chapter 13 and verse 13, the book of Judges chapter 19, verses 22 to 27, and men in general who stir up contention, Proverbs chapter 6. Verse 12 to 14, Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 27, Proverbs 19, 28. Therefore Belial is any man or woman who was considered wicked, worthless, lawless. They might be called a son or daughter of Belial. Belial refers to the adversary, or in our interpretation, evil thoughts within the art, consciousness of men. The deceiving phase of mind in men that has fixed ideas in opposition to the truth. Belial assumes various forms in man's consciousness, among which may be mentioned egotism, a puffing up of the personality and the opposite of this, self-deception, which admits the adversary into the consciousness. This adversary makes man believe that he is by nature good and without sin. Therefore man has no need of God. Belial is Satan the devil, a state of mind formed by man's personal ideas of his power and completeness and sufficiency apart from God. Besides, at times puffing up the personality, this thinking of the flesh often turns about and, after having tempted a believer to do evil, discourages the believer by accusing him of sin. Summed up, it is the state of mind in man that believes in its own sufficiency independent of the deity.